are you hodling cardano during this dip or are you planning to sell to buy back cheaper welcome back guys it's crypto rocco from rockstar trading channel in today's video i'll share with you all the cardano news that you need to be aware of and then using that information i'll share with you my price prediction and technical analysis but more importantly guys i'll share with you exactly how i'm trading it rockstar trading channel guys we don't just make predictions like other channels like cardano to ten dollars we share with you exact plans when we're buying when we're selling and actually making money this was the trade i shared on the last youtube live stream if you can go watch that I'll share this trade setup. I also posted exactly when we entered uh, on, on Twitter as well, this four hour pullback. This is our strategy. It hit first target, now back to where we entered. So I'll share with you new plans, my new trade plans if Cardano does break down, where I'd look to sell and potentially even short like our previous trade. So guys, without further ado, let's get into the video. Cardano guys is still one of the most popular cryptocurrencies. It has been, it, you know, battle tested, if you want to call it. There's always, you know, cryptocurrencies coming and going. Cardano has been around and Charles Hodgkinson and the team are slowly building and building they haven't delivered as much as maybe I would have liked so I'm probably not the biggest fan of Cardano but it is a project that I like and if you guys remember or followed my channel it, it is one of the coins that made us the most money if you remember back in the day we bought Cardano leading up to the Shelly mainnet launch less than 10 cent and we rode this pump during the bitcoin bull market money is made during the bull market so use this bear market to find good projects get in early and then you know take profit during a bull market guys if you do enjoy this type of content hit that like button subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification button you can hit the like button now it really helps us out and also pushes youtube and cardano content to more people it really helps with algorithms so if you do enjoy this type of content do consider hitting the like button so let's get into the video now then so we had that rally and then once we broke down below here one dollar was a big breakdown we had a huge sell-off into this support level this support level i was at looking for a long setup i said look if this lower high holds i think we could get a rally and we saw that we broke out gave me that pullback and again the importance of having a trading strategy is taking profit most people just buy and you know don't don't sell and then wait for like the moon mission but there's in this type of market you have to be quick in and out taking profits in you know bull market yes you can just buy and let some run like we did earlier but now you've got to be really in and out it's really important to understand what type of market we're in most money is being made by shorting you can see these are all short setups that we're taking myself and other members in the rockstar trading group we're taking short setups at the moment just because the type of market we're in if we're in a bullish market bitcoin pumping yes just happy to buy and hold but at the moment it's quick in and out trading so that's where we are now the key level i'm watching is 50 cent if as long as we hold above 50 cent i'm happy to be in cardano and that trade worked out so I'll, I'll move that trade up to the side now for now i'm i'm waiting to see 50 cent hold if 50 cent holds cardano starts breaking back above 60 70 cent i'm happy to buy it to ride it towards one dollar if we don't see that guys i think cardano could have a bigger sell-off so if you start seeing trend changing below here i might look to take a short setup i'll cover the uh, cover the short setup and price prediction at the end of the video now let's talk about news so cardano developers prepare for vassal hard fork while hotchkins Hodgkinson condemns bull market so you know he's he's basically saying that you know he argues that bear markets bring out the best projects in DeFi and promote development in a bull market people get really excited and it's more to do with making money you know uh, they don't there's not much development as much development you know luna if you want to talk about that you know that had a huge uh, development DeFi anchor protocol then it rallied and people took profit and you saw what happened maybe Luna's not the best example but we've seen huge developments including DeFi, including nfts you know it happened during the bear market and then all the market tops happened when they went full-blown you know public and you know you saw everyone talking about them so it's really important it's a really good important point from charles hodgkinson personally i've been through i think like six bear markets now and every time you've seen major advancements that's where the smart contract revolution came from that's where a lot of DeFi revolution came from bear markets are perfect time for governance and improvement in interoperability protocols to happen because everyone is so focused on work and they tend to be much cooperative so they're you know they're more cons more focused on work than the price going up so that's a quick update for him and then he also uh, posted updates on the Vassil network and Cardano is like I said it's a really popular coin because it's not just covered by small um 
news media. It's also covered by uh, you know Yahoo Finance and a lot of the other news outlet outlets as well. So that isn't one of the reasons why I like Cardano so much because in a bullish market, if Cardano starts breaking out, it would be one of the first coins that I look to get in because of the rally, the potential pump it can have, and also is battle tested. Like I said, the Charles Hodgkin is only saying is ridden through so many bear markets, bull markets, and it's still around and it will potentially be a leading blockchain uh, in, in cryptocurrency space. So let's talk about this update now. So Vasil Hartfork, and uh, he said these engineers are deep in the weeds right now and working really hard on Vasil. A massive amount of amount to do, huge amount of testing to do. After the collapse, we decided to add additional test harness to what we are doing and think really comfortable about some things. It's taking a bit more time, but we figured that the abundance of caution is well rewarded these days. So. Again, we've already, we've already talked about Vassal in this in this channel previously. Cardano it will make Cardano better scalable. I think it will help with decentralization as well, and also the smart contract. More developments on the uh, Cardano smart contract. So this is a really important update for Cardano. And if they can improve Im implement it successfully, hopefully we'll see more adoption in Cardano as well. So that's that's the news that I'm I'm looking to play. If this was in a bull market, guys, Cardano would have pumped 20, 30 percent. Unfortunately, the market that we're in is not allowing. Cardano Cardano to move on. So fundamentally, that's the news that I care more about. But another news is the actor and comedian Martin Lawrence is selling, selling Cardano powered NFTs. People talk about use cases and you know people using Cardano. This is a good use of Cardano. We can see the NFTs being built on Cardano. Ethereum is still the you know the main player for NFTs, and but other like Solana, Cardano are trying to have an NFT market as well. So it's good to see this development. Again, I'm not too excited about this. I care more about uh, you know smart contract, more apps, DeFi launching. Um, but that's a positive and you know shows that Cardano not just you know all talk, but the use cases and adoption happening as well. So that's the news aspect of of Cardano. Um, talking about this news, like I said. If if the, if we're in a pool market, guys, um, Cardano would have pumped on this news, you know, 50, 20, 30 percent. Unfortunately, the type of market we're in and the downtrend that we're in, um, Cardano is not getting a move on. And as long as, guys, Cardano is in a downtrend and more importantly, Bitcoin is below 30K, I don't think that Cardano is going to bottom here. So, you know, I made the title of the video. Should you hold or should you? So you guys still so you take short setups here also at three dollars uh, as long as the trend is down i think uh, i don't want to just hodl well if you love the project maybe sell half and hold half and then uh, when we see trend changes you can look to buy more so the main setup i'm looking for a potentially long setup is above 65 66 cent if we start breaking back above these levels i'm happy to risk for longs uh, similar to this setup i look for pullback entries targeting um potentially one dollars these highs so that is the main trade i'm looking for but for me to take this trade i need to see bitcoin above 30k if bitcoin is below 30k i won't be looking to take that trade i'm doing a live stream in a couple of hours on my youtube channel you can you know uh, sign up for it if you've gone to the community section click uh, notify me you uh, you can watch our live stream i'll share with you coins that we're looking to buy i'll review bitcoin it's really important to understand what's happening with bitcoin and the stock market because it's all correlated when bitcoin and stock market is pumping they all tend to do well. So if Bitcoin is above 30K, that's the long setup I would look for. And I'm happy to hold for now. Like I said, I'm happy to hold because 50 cent is big support. If we start doing this, so I talked about the key zone 50 cent at the start of the video. If we start breaking below this, I would look to probably sell half uh, or potentially take another short. Similar to that, we'd stop above there targeting these lows. So that is a trade setup that could play out in the next few days. I'll, it will depend on what Bitcoin does. If Bitcoin stays below 30K, I think that could be a setup. And 50 cent is such a huge level. This was the, you know, the highs. Uh, uh, this was support back in 2018 and you know we found support here as well and then we broke out from 50 40 cent as well so i do think there is a chance that we bottom around 50 40 cent but i need to see bitcoin show strength if bitcoin starts breaking above 30k again we chop around more something like this then yes oops let me get rid of that um if we chop around here and uh, uh, we need to see longer consolidation i'd say something like this and later on in november december time we could get a pump i would like to see that but if not guys the trend is down and trading strategy wise i follow the trend as long as the trend is down i'll be looking to take the short setups trend change break back above there i'll look for short term longs and i'll keep trading it in and out let me know in the comment section below guys what you think about this video do you want me to carry on making cardano videos i asked you guys which coin you want me to review most people requested cardano if there's any other coins you want me to review, comment below. 
and I'll review them in the next videos. Uh, before I end the video, comment below your thoughts on Cardano as well. Do you like the project? Do you think you know Cardano can pump back to you know one dollar, three dollars again? Comment below your price prediction for Cardano. So thank you very much. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys soon with another great video. Thank you.